In this video, we'll be using JS graphics to create a scatter plot. So first of all, we've defined the x axis by defining the x array. And the same goes for the y axis by defining the y array. So the next step, we're going to define the data to be plotted. So we've got constant data is equal to. And then in here, we're going to have x, x array. And then y, y array. And then we are going to set the mode to markers. So what markers mean is that it represents the individual dot points, which creates a scatter plot. So for line graphs, etc., it would be different mode. And then next we've got a constant layer. So this defines the layer of the plot. So in here we've got the x axis, y axis, as well as the title. So x axis, and then we're going to define a range for it. The range in this case, since for the x axis, they're going up by one. So the range will be minus one and plus one. So one minus one will be zero. And then 10 plus one will be 11. So the range will be zero, 11. And then we're going to have the title for the x axis. So for example, we can have our study. And then we're going to do the same for y axis. So y axis and then range. So for the y axis, so they're going up by 10. So we're going to have 10 minus 10 and then 100 plus 10 as the range. So that would be 0 and then 110. And then the title for the y axis. So it could be something like exam marks. And then we're going to have title. So the title of the graph, it could be our study versus the exam marks. And then for these, we'll need semicolons as well. So the plot is actually going to come out as a linear plot. So in real life, the hours studied and exam marks would be curved. But for this example, we'll be using this. And then to display the plot using plot ly. So we've got plot ly dot new plot. And then in here, we've got the ID of my plot. And then data layout. So if we test and run this, so this will be our scatter plot of the hours studied versus the exam marks. 